in other courts. It would take the whole year just to resolve some of those legal issues to get the facts. And I believe that the Republicans would use this to say that the Democrats are doing a payback to what the Republicans did to Clinton. I think when the Republicans did what they did to Clinton, it backfired on them. I'm afraid this would backfire on us. Furthermore, 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 uh, I think that not only would it backfire, but nothing would happen in this year so that the people, if I'm right, and some of you are wrong, would be going to the polls on only one issue, whether the impeachment was right or wrong. And I fear that this may trip us up on getting a, a Democrat elected based on the issues and not the political attacks that they'll make against us. So I don't see the chances for success of impeachment. I don't see uh, the effort uh, accomplishing anything other than keeping us from dealing with other issues, hopefully by embarrassing them to do things like child health insurance. Uh, I know you all want impeachment. Yes. I would like to see him driven for office. Wait a second, you're going to get your chance for questions and answers. But I don't see it succeeding. That's the conclusion I've reached. And I don't support impeachment. Thank you. Um, you know, I was struck by something you said, that the, there's nothing too small that the Republicans wouldn't investigate if not impeach over. And I feel that it's almost that there's nothing too large that will get us to impeach. And my question is a follow-up on impeachment. You had been one of my heroes. You said that this was a disappointing year for you. I'm here to say that I'm disappointed myself. And I'd like to ask before I ask this question, how many people here are disappointed in the congressman? Show of hands. I just I needed to make sure that you know that. Upon taking office, you solemnly swore to protect and defend the Constitution. Notwithstanding your views of the political expediency or likely vote or outcome of impeachment, I'll say again, notwithstanding the political expediency, how can you justify your failure to introduce or even co-sponsor impeachment given that oath of office? And if you are capable of swearing such an oath but are unwilling to obey it, why should we trust your word on anything again? Peter Thottom. Uh, thank you, Congressman Waxman. I met with you in July along with a lot of people here, and we got the same load of crap in July about impeachment not being something that's viable. And I'm, I'm an attorney too, okay? It's not, it's not um, beyond reasonable doubt only. There's clear and convincing and other standards that apply. A trial was a close possibility last November. Kucinich had a resolution on the floor. It failed by 26 votes. Wexler, your peer, and Baldwin in Wisconsin and Gutierrez in Illinois are demanding that the House Judiciary Committee seriously consider 799 and 333. The reason impeachment matters to these people here is because nothing less than the integrity of this government is at stake. The reputation around the world, all right? To have impeached, to have impeached Bill Clinton for, for perjury about a blowjob and to not impeach these criminals for destroying the integrity of the Constitution and the reputation of the United States for having killed and slaughtered 4,000 Americans, 1 million Iraqis is unforgivable, Congressman. Show some spine.